Hi, this is Grant Nicholas. Hi, this is Tucker. We're Feeder, and you're listening to Louder. So I'm here with Tucker of Feeder. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I was a bit tired. We had a really great time in Manchester last night, and uh, we did some uh, drunken temping bowlings after the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just about playing music. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. about having fun. Yeah. So, do you get to actually enjoy the city? Uh, well, I try to see as much as possible. But like uh, Manchester, we had day off, so I, I walked around because my family was over. So, kind of have some nice family time. Okay. Yeah, but today I only seen here and the venue. Just the venue, yeah. <laughs> well, Birmingham is not as exciting yeah, as but Manchester. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, you know, nice uh, uh, what is it, a building? The, oh, yeah. Yeah, the shopping, shopping center. area. Yeah. Well, the canals are nice. No, oh, I You didn't can know always that. get curry. Yeah. The Balti. Oh. It's really nice. The next time. I recommend not having it before the show. It might come out <laughs> during the show. I really? You don't want to do that. <laughs> so, to some more pleasant yeah. uh, topics. So, Feeder, I think, played in in every festival topped all the charts yeah what still excites you as a band well you know uh, um, we had a four years break and uh, it's actually it's good to play together and actually you know making music and the tour has been really good and fun and uh, it's kind of refreshment you know kind of refresh ourselves and uh, yeah so the break actually worked? I think so. <laughs> okay, so it was but a good I, thing. Yeah, because Grant did his solo things, I did some work in Japan. Maybe four years was a bit, could have been a bit long, but, but it, it's happened, so it's happened, so, you yeah. know. So is it just a smooth comeback? Well, it wasn't really a smooth comeback because we have to start again label things management things and recording we have to organize all these things and uh, yeah but it's it's ready and now that you're back yeah. everybody has something to say about it yeah. i heard that in the past uh, at least grant mentioned it that he tries avoiding the media reading all those comments whether it's the newspapers or things online because when you just started it was just newspapers. already well be because uh misunderstanding or is it uh, miss just the negativity, I guess, yeah, yeah. or just affecting you. Well, I guess a uh, journalist, I don't know you, but you know, <laughs> they, they try to make something a bit more kind of interesting, a topic or okay. whatever. Not interesting, but just uh, make it some more headline and things. Yeah, but now yeah. with the internet, everyone's yeah. a critic. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So even a five year old that only yeah, heard know, one song has something to say. Yeah, it was <laughs> so do you avoid yeah. those, those as well? Well, it's. Um, you know, like uh, after after the show, lots of people comment on the Facebook and all those things. You know, just one out of hundred, for example, say, "Oh, they didn't play this and that." Oh, I'm so disappointed. Ah, uh, you know, but it's only one. But okay. still, kind of, uh, it's really hard to please everyone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you had, I think, this is the ninth album. Yeah, ninth nice album. Yeah. So nine albums times about ten tracks on each yeah, yeah. probably more than so that so we try to pick as much as possible from every album but it's 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 impossible because uh we had to play new songs too yeah but you know we are trying as much as we can you know <laughs> well somebody's gonna complain anyway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and i know that for a while mm. you had i'm guessing it still happens that love hate yeah. relations with buck rogers yeah that on one hand made a big name for you on yeah. the other hand i know you yeah, dropped um, it for a while well yeah probably majority of people in general feeder like pop band but if you listen to album you know we're a bit more diverse and mm -hmm. pop you know probably you know us so there is heavy side dark side more quiet you know metal side yeah well but you need some song to get to know so you know i wouldn't say you know we don't like to play back rogers but just uh you are just want to say there's more different side of feeder too <laughs> so would you still recommend buck rogers as an introduction to feeder <laughs> or now uh well you're gonna go with eskimo now oh well, i guess yeah eskimo <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a um it's showing you know where we are at the moment so mm. especially this album um 
I don't know how Grant would describe, but to me, it's really more deeper, and uh, yeah, I feel a bit more deeper and wider kind of things. And uh, you know, we we're not trying to do anything we are not, but just uh, a few more depths and uh, yeah, from okay. this album. Well, to me, music was always something to kind of comfort me. Okay? Yeah, use as a escapism. Mm. Okay, I would listen to it and just think, okay, somebody had it much easier, so I can do it as well. But yeah. then I listened to Eskimo, yeah. <laughs> and it really depressed me because yeah. if you two, well-established musicians, yeah. family people, all of a sudden still question life, yeah. then where would I go? Where's the hope for me? <laughs> but you know, um, every people are different. For example, I re- I listen to reggae music when I cook, kind of. Comfortable, you know, like for you, you know, comfort and relax. Yeah, obviously, yeah, Eskimo is not probably good, it's not good for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what is it good for? Just long baths? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you guys are into not the traditional aspect of politics, but you do have a say. Um, either in life or in music, you supported the tsunami um, oh, yes, in yes. 2012 in yeah. Japan, and you contributed some music to uh, charity albums. Yeah, well, and now well, you're supporting Food Fighters. Yeah, um, is that what you think musicians should do? Is that what we should expect from musicians? Um, we went to Congo for water charity. Kind of us is okay, kind of things because. Uh, there are a lot of other people maybe could tell more about what War Child were doing. But, you know, we brought journalists and actually went there in Congo. And they give um, these things, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you say, um, make people aware. Okay, we are just a you know, musician band, but we can bring this journalist for magazine or newspaper, so these people let people know what's going on. And uh, yeah, obviously we cannot do every charity, but something we agreed, what they are trying to do. Yeah, we we do as much as like we can. Yeah. So do you think that's the role of musicians? No, I don't. I don't, I don't think so. You know. Like, uh, you know, every, every musician, every people, every band are different. But we are in a position, we can do, we can tell people, you know, what the charity was doing in those things, yeah. Okay. And can you tell me more about Food Fighters? Yeah, it's actually... Uh, oh, yes, sorry, yeah. sorry, so I just came... Um, so we're joined by Grant? Yeah, hello <laughs> there. <laughs> sorry, just finishing off the thing. I just did an interview where the guys didn't have it actually on record. I'm like, oh no. Oh, good start. Well, it happened to me in the past as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it does happen, yeah. So we're talking about um, the musician's role in contribution to awareness, being a bit more political. Yeah. So do you think that's something that we should expect? From what, musicians, uh, what to be what to be more outspoken about what you know the views on politics. Yeah, well, or to use your stage and I think politics is quite a dangerous sort of field. I think everyone has their own views, but if I think if we you know just as a human being, mm-hmm. if, if you feel strongly about something, whether you're in a band or not, um, you know you can sort of make your you know you, you know your point heard. But I think I suppose you know the good thing about being a band is if you feel really strongly about it, you know you've got more chance of maybe reaching more people with your fan base and stuff like that. But I. I don't know. I think I, I think politics is a very double-edged sword. You know, it's quite. It's everyone has their own opinion on stuff. You know, um, apart from maybe apart from maybe Donald Trump at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but let's not even go there. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I try and keep politics out of music. But I think as I get older and I've got kids now, I do worry about things a lot more than I used to when we first started out. When we just wanted to just be in a rock and roll band, and have yeah. fun. You know, um, but yeah. Uh, you know, I think if there's something which you feel strongly about, then you know, then it's time to voice your opinion. But you know, I think you just have to be careful how you do it, really. Okay, and you guys are supporting food fighters right now, and you asked food fighters, food fighters, yeah, a lot of food fighters. Accent. Yeah, no, no, I, mean, I, I don't think they need. It sounds support. like food fighters, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For a second, I thought, wait, they're doing their own their own headliner tour, yeah. and the food fighters are not yeah. here right now. But there is a cause where you ask fans to bring some food yeah. and yeah. then pass it on. I think the Karen guys mentioned that there's so much waste, whether yeah. it's 
home waste yeah. or at the industry they're just wasting food and it's not mm. going where people need it um, so you guys are asking for help raising awareness um, yeah I mean basically uh, we were approached it by Kerrang Radio they they do a big charity every year that they feel is a really good one and they sort of approach a band they think is you know is going to be suitable and obviously we've been involved with quite a few sort of various charities over the years you know we did War Child we did Oxfam um, I did some stuff here with Shelter not only with Feeder but also my solo stuff um, you know we can't do everything um, but, but anything we feel that we can get involved with you know and, and sort of help in some way through you know mm through voicing our opinion you know and also you know talking to our fans you know it does help you know that's a great thing about having a big fan base you know you can you know you can actually make a small difference sometimes if they all you know if they all get together and help so basically you know the, you know, the plan was that um, they can only do it at four of the venues for, you know, for some reason but basically anyone coming to the show even even if they're not coming to the show they can still bring the food because it's going to be outside the venue so they just bring anything they've got which they're not using their like tins it, as long as it doesn't go off it needs to be something like dried stuff like dried pasta or tin food or or even 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 like toiletry yeah or soup and, and you know cans of tuna basically just for people that really need it like you know like families who are really struggling and stuff like that um i, I think it's spread out for um families that are struggling i don't i think some of it might be going to certain homeless charities as well but i think it's mainly just for you know sort of you know like families that are finding it hard to put a meal on the table and we just thought you know what a great thing to do you know um you know, I think if it works out, you know, we might continue to do it maybe our next tour as well. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe try and do it at all the venues because, you know, I think it's a really good thing. And I think, you know, fair play to, to a Kerrang as well for, you know, for, for sort of, you know, obviously yeah, getting yeah. behind it yeah. all, you know. But they asked us because they know that we, you know, we have a bit of a social conscious about stuff like that. And because we've done a few things in the past and this all, it all seems to be really positive, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard of something in the US that's like a public pantry. Oh, okay. So people just right. leave food outside. It's like those kind yeah. of public bookshelves. Mm. So same thing with food. So you can yeah, leave whatever you want those, actually, and then yeah. people can just come and take it with their own... Um, There's a thing actually. I was in, um, I was in Spain recently, and, it, and there was a thing in the, in the town that, that I went to, and there was this big place, just like, just like books everywhere. And what, what people are doing is just sort of leave books off. They've read them on holidays, just leaving books to people, and they can and they can just people just take them. So like poor, you know, people can't afford to buy them all for their kids. It's quite a good idea because otherwise, you know, you just end anyway. But uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll get some, uh, you know, we'll get some people bringing some food. Yeah. I wish it was more shows really, but. Well, the next tour, just in general, just to spread the, the word. One last question. Um, what would the old Bright Electric uh, you would say to, uh, yes, they went too soon, you? <laughs> yeah, old Bright Electric. Um, to you from now, I would say to you from would, 15, would, 16 years I would, ago. I would say that, that the journey is worth it, or has been worth it. That's okay. what I You're going to mention the videos? Probably Renegades. Oh uh, yeah, Renegades. Oh, <laughs> you, oh, you like that video, yeah? Well, yeah. actually, the guy that made that video was the same guy that did the album sleeve for this album and did the Renegades artwork as well. He's a good friend of mine. He's a, he's he's in advertising, so he likes to he likes to have a bit of a shock factor in everything. Um, if you'd seen his original uh, scripts for the video, it probably wouldn't have got played anyway. Yeah. Which is, I think, that was the whole idea. But yeah, it was a fun video. Um, I was kind of shocked it's still on Facebook. Yeah, it's not on YouTube. It is on Vivo. Yeah, no, what? Yeah, on you, I mean, on how can they well. not play that on YouTube? It's not that shocking, is it? Yeah, but just uh, yeah. Well, I know, but I mean, <laughs> Cardi, go to the beach anyway now. And people got you know topless. I mean, it's not exactly a big yeah. deal, is it? Yeah. Nobody I mean, goes uh, to the beach in England anyway. Well, I don't know if you've been to Brighton. I've seen a few <laughs> topless ones. So you'd, you'd be surprised. <laughs> okay, guys. Anything else you want to add to fans and listeners? Just that the album's out this Friday. It's called All Bright Electric, as you've mentioned. It's yeah. our ninth album. You know, we're on tour. We're going to be doing some more touring next year as well, and you know, festivals. Hope to go back to Japan and maybe the States as yeah. well. So yeah, you know, more touring. Obviously, you know, check out the album. You know, you know, we're really happy with it, and you know, come and see us on tour. It's good to be back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I keep on cooking. Yeah. Keep on cooking. <laughs> 